Hello and um, welcome to lesson 3 in relation to serif page plus x5. Uh, in the last uh, lesson we looked at text briefly and that was this uh, text tool here, artistic text tool or um, using text frames. Uh, so how we could import them into our documents. Today we're briefly going to look at uh, importing images and there are two main ways really in which you can do that. Uh, you can use picture frame or you can just uh, insert it straight into your document. So we've got a blank A4 document here and um, what we're going to do first of all, we're going to just insert it. We're going to insert, insert a picture straight, of all, straight away first of all. So You can do it via this toolbar here, which gives you the option to import picture, or you can go to the insert tab at the top, insert picture, choose your source, and again you've got a frame bit there as well. If you've got a um, a scanner linked to your computer, then this is where you would set up with the twain there, where you'd select the source. And once you selected the source, you've then acquired the item so that you can import it. But what we're going to deal with today is uh, either from file or using the empty frame. So we're going to go to this toolbar here. We're going to choose import picture. What it does, it opens up your computer to your files. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, an image that I've got here. So I'll select the image, press open, and you'll see you've got crosshair there and then a little box to the bottom right. You hold the mouse down, left click, and then just drag, you can drag it to the size you want. Now bear in mind that if you've got a poor quality image, see if I can give you an example. Onto the top to import this time. Let's choose a low quality image. Here we go. We've got a PayPal toolbar here, that, um, I, a picture that I know is low quality. Uh, it's been taken off the web. So, as soon as I start to stretch that out, what you'll notice is that the quality of that image gets poorer, it's less clear as you make it larger. And visually, what you see on screen is fairly representative of what you could get in print. That's just something for thought for later on. Anyway, we're going to delete that image. So I've got rid of that image. And this is the image that I imported. And like you could do with the text box in the previous ones, previous lesson, I take my mouse to the top, to that little circle there. I can rotate my image. Okay. Incidentally, if you if you do that and it's not quite square, if you just press the back button, you got undo and redo. That'll just take you back to where it was before. So that's using those back or redo. Okay. Or we could take our mouse to the corner and we can rotate it that way. And I'm going to take you back to where it was. So there's an image that we could do. So if I wanted to lay this right out, I'd be laying into the corners. Yeah. That's a good quality image. So you can see that the uh, resolution of it looks quite good. So that's one way you can port it in. And then if you just want to select the image when the crosshairs come over, you can just move it around to where you want. Another way to import an image is by using the picture frames. You got several picture frame shapes here and we're going to show a few of those I'm going to select the rectangular one you get the crosshair and the little box again so left click and drag and you'll see this time uh, it just shows an empty box with um, some diagonal lines going across it if I 
look down the bottom right you've got replace picture hover over that if I click on there that will open up a new window and this time I'm going to select the same picture just press open and what it does it imports it straight into that box but as you notice it will crop it off so um, if I wanted to fit towards that box I've got a few options uh, underneath position image rotate left zoom in zoom out and replace image so say I want to replace it just click on that and we'll click on that particular one so that all that will do is just replace the image there we go again okay position image by clicking that it gives me a little hand and all that does is it drags the image up or down or within the parameters that it's got um, because that's right to the edge it won't let me move it left or right if I let me zoom out if I zoom out you'll see we start to see white area now it'll let me move it because the parameters have changed zoom in again so if you wanted to um, use part of an image or be a bit creative in the way that that image is being looked at you could use this uh, image box to do that so by clicking on the hand again if I just wanted to show the bottom of that I could then just drag that up to the box as soon as it reaches the edge of the image down here it won't let you move it up anymore and then down so it only works within the parameters of the actual image itself. And if I zoom in, and then click on the hands, you, again it works within the parameters, but you can move that image up and down. I'm going to choose another shape, circle, left click drag, bottom right, let's choose this image there. And again, it just selects it within the size and makes sure that the, the parameters that there's no white. If you want some white appearing, then you're like enough to zoom in. Okay, so that's useful for that. But if you want the whole of the image, then it may be better to import the image direct in, like we have done here. And I'm just going to show you one more shape just to give you an idea. That's just obviously the resizing is the same, and you can rotate as well. Uh, I'm going to choose a diamond shape. So I've selected it, left click, drag. And we're going to choose this one this time. There. So you can see all the different shapes you can make with those. And that is the main way to import images. Those two main ways there. But before I go, to make your images a bit more interesting, say you've imported this one here. Okay, you've got your image, you've imported it. Oh, I think I might give it a bit of a drop shadow. There's a little nice little tool there, shadow tool. I click on there, what you'll notice is a black circle, a white circle in there. Okay. And when I move away from that, you'll notice the square box. When the, you've got the square box, that's selecting the image really. So by left clicking, holding it down, I can create a little shadow like that and it gives it some lovely depth to the image there those uh, circles are different features in relation to stretching the image out uh, to how faded that image is those sort of things so best thing to do is, is to try that and play with it so that's um, how to import images. Uh, remember, if you want to import from somewhere else, you've got an insert picture, you've got the Twain option there, or from Photo CD. Uh, in the next lesson, we are going to combine some images and showing how you can wrap text around them. Okay, so thanks for listening. That's uh, lesson three, and we will speak to you soon. Goodbye.